what's up? So the key appeal of Music Player Daemon, aka MPD, is that it is purely a backend of a music player. It purely deals with library management and playlist management and actually playing the audio. It doesn't have any sort of front-end interface to control it. Now, you might be wondering, okay, why is that actually an appeal or a feature? And the reason for that is that you can choose from essentially 30 or more different clients for the front end. So for example, this is RMPC, which I've made a whole video about, but essentially it's just choose your own adventure in terms of the available clients. You can literally get like whatever you want, everything from command line clients all the way up to like GTK clients. So that is one of the main appeals of MPD. But the other main appeal is that out of the box, it's super minimal, it's super configurable, and it's super scriptable. So that means essentially if you have any sort of like big dream server setup for, you know, local host audio or even, you know, remote server audio, you could actually accomplish that. Um, but you should not worry about complex configuration out of the box because you really don't need anything too complex. And I mean, I wouldn't blame you uh, based on the arch wiki if you thought that the configuration was gonna be super complex and hard to do. Um, but really, if you just want some basic single user music playing configuration, it is really straightforward. Um, so I should actually tell you what package to get to start with. Um, the package is literally MPD, um, but you probably also want to get uh, MPC with it as well, since that's the most simple client for it. Essentially, that's just going to be command line control for, you know, forwards and backwards and tracks, volume control, etc. The basics you would need. Um, and then based on that, you could also get, you know, some more complex clients um, once you're ready to. But anyways, um, in terms of, oops, not Neobim, um, in terms of just actually starting up MPD, it's meant to be a daemon, so you would start it with systemctl ideally, so sudo systemctl enable now MPD. Um, obviously, if you're using a different init system, uh, adjust that command to your init system. You could actually start it without a daemon if you wanted to. So no daemon uh, would start it just uh, individually there. Or you could add it to your xinitrc or other sort of auto start script, which that's how I have it running. Um, something else to keep in mind with the configuration, you have both single user configuration and multi user configuration. Um, like I said, my configuration is actually pretty simple as far as configuration goes. So I just have it in the normal dot uh, config slash mpd slash mpd dot conf. So that's where your single user configuration would go. Um, but if you're going to go for system wide configuration, etsy slash mpd dot conf, and the arch wiki will actually guide you through that if you're interested in doing multi user or system wide configuration. All right, so in terms of my file here, um, yeah, I literally just have some directories specified, a couple of settings here. So like automatically updating the music database um, when a file is changed in the library directory. Um, I have it bound just to localhost. So just playing music directly on my system here, um, nothing in terms of network. Um, I have it restore um, paused. So that way it doesn't actually start by playing music. I think the default behavior is the startup. It will automatically unpause. So I don't like that. So I toggled that. Um, the Audio output, I just have set up for Pulse Audio, but obviously set up whatever audio server you're using. And then I just have like an audio visualizer set up. So my config, uh, like I said, is very straightforward, but there's definitely more you could do with it. And there's actually in the MPD documentation, a huge example configuration file that pretty much explains every option available. So if you wanna learn more about the different directories and files you can set or the different daemon options or audio options, um, I will link this file in the description so you can go look at it and reference it if you wanted to. Um, but anyways, on to some of the available clients. So the ArchWiki actually has a huge list of some of the clients you could get. Um, MPD site as well has some other clients. I think the lists aren't exactly the same here. So I guess if you can't find anything you like on one list or the other, maybe check the opposing one. Um, but just to go over some of the common ones I've seen. So NCMPCPP, the famously unpronounceable music player that I believe stands for NCURSE's Music Player C++. Um, and it's got pretty much all the features you would want minus album art, which is the main deal breaker on it for me, uh, which is actually why I'm using the one I'm using, RMPC, instead, um, since it has good album art display. But if you didn't care about album art, NCMPCPP might be the one to go with. It has this uh, visualizer that everybody likes to put in their screenshots because, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. I will give it that. The visualizer does look cool. 
Um, I also wanted to point out Vim PC, which if you're a fan of Vim key bindings and overall, you know, Vim aesthetic, Vim layout, this might be what you want. Um, there's also Inori, which honestly I've never used myself, but I saw it and it did actually look pretty cool. So I figured I would mention it and I don't know, give it a, a shout out, I guess. Um, anyways, it's got fuzzy search and it's got an interface that's similar to Cmuse if you've ever used that. Uh, Cmuse is a classic standalone music player, but anyways, I thought the interface was pretty nice. It's, you know, minimal, but in a good way. So I thought that was pretty cool. If that's something that, I don't know, floats your boat, then check it out. Um, there's also plenty of GTK application front ends for MPD. So for example, Platin Album here um, is album oriented and it's just, you know, clean GTK interface. Um, there's also YMuse, also a GTK interface, light mode, dark mode, pretty clean. Um, but there's plenty of others if you didn't like any of these. So yeah, you could go check the Arch Wiki if you wanted to see just a big list of them or MPD's site as well has a huge list. I also wanted to point out MPD-MPRIS, um, the program MPD-MPRIS here. Um, and I actually have this installed because I require it in order to have my status bar working because I use player CTL for my status bar. Um, the reason I use player CTL is because I have, you know, also cute browser and anything else that works with Empress, I want it all, you know, integrated into one thing so I can display them all in my status bar. Uh, I've made like a million videos about this, but anyways, player CTL um, will require you to be running mpd Empress for MPD to show up in that. So just get mpd Empress and then just add that to your startup script as well, or, you know, however you're normally starting MPD, just start mpd Empress the same way and that should have you covered for player CTL. Um, a couple other things you can do with MPD if you wanted to do so. You can actually set it up as a full streaming server if you wanted to with Icecast. Um, now, full disclosure here, I honestly have never used Icecast and um, I researched it enough to you know make sure that it was good to show in a video, but honestly, I don't have a reason to be streaming MPD locally. I just, you know, I listen to music on my PC here and that's about it. Otherwise, I just have my iPod. So I don't stream music locally, but the Arch Wiki does walk you through the Icecast setup if you did want to set up Icecast and have either local music streaming or even network music streaming over the internet if you wanted to do that MPD and Icecast can function together in order to set that up and honestly MPD as a whole is really great because you have you know the simplicity of just your your classic you know simple Linux programs that do what they're supposed to do but you also have the option to expand it further and have all sorts of cool features with it if you wanted to do that. So I don't know, I think it's pretty cool. A lot of different clients available if you wanted to go find, you know, whatever you like best. Uh, that's about it. I will see you next time. Peace.